Hello, Andrew Reby here again to show off some of the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 R2. In this video, we will be going over the Assembly Wizard features. To start this off, let's go ahead and open up the Assembly Wizard. The new features that I want to go over are in the Operations section, so let's go ahead and expand that out. Let's go ahead and look at the Dado Joint section first. That has a couple new features that I want to show you. Now I just need to hit the next button, and now you can see the first new wizard option. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 R2, you can combine your unfinished back and nailer dados into one dado operation. Now if I click next again, you can see that I can do the same with top joints as well. The next couple of options have to deal with line boring, so let's cancel out of the dado joints options now. Now that we're back here, let's go to the line boring section. Okay, these new options aren't really here right at the front, so I'm just going to skip ahead a bit. And now you can see that, starting with Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 R2, we have the ability to define a max spacing between columns of line bore operations. Let's go ahead and select that option and see what it does. As you can see, we can now specify the amount of space we will allow before Cabinet Vision should place an additional column of line boring on the parts. As you can see, we can also do this for backs and clipped backs. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com.